This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the X-Zone Radio Show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, X-1, Dimension X, Space Patrol, and every minute of the Exxon Broadcast Network by calling 213-401-0080, courtesy of Audio Now. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan, and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 213-401-0080 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember 213-401-0080 for the best of the paranormal, parapsychology, and sci-fi radio programming anywhere, 24-7-365. And welcome back to the x everyone. My name is Rob McConnell, and we're coming to you from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Once again, our toll-free number is 1-800-610-7035. My email address is xzone at xzoneradiotv.com. On MSN Messenger, TV at Hotmail.com, and our website, www.XZoneRadioTV.com. My guest this hour is none other than Dr. Louis Turi. He is an astropsychologist. He deals, you know, he, he's originally from Provence, France, the same place where Nostradamus was from, and... Um, the other day, he sent out an email alert talking about a major earthquake that was going to happen. And instead of me telling you what happened just earlier today, I'm going to let my good friend, Dr. Louis Turi, tell us. Uh, first of all, uh, Louis, welcome back to the show. Always great having you with us. Thank you very much for having me, Robbie. Always a pleasure to be working with you. Oh, thank you, my friend. Tell our listeners what happened today. Well, I was on coast to coast uh, a few weeks ago, and I gave the dates... Uh, of uh, April 14, 15, and 16, mm-hmm. which is uh, in the next few days, to be prepared for very large earthquakes. And um, when you have an 8.6 that hits like today, it's just a prelude of what's going to happen on the date I give to George Norrie. So uh, my book, Moon Power, gives the date of today, which is 11, and clearly in all letters, dated, printed, and published, mm-hmm. mentioned the possibility of earthquakes and tsunami, and it happened again, exactly as I predicted last time I was on your show, uh, some earthquake that would hit some places, and uh, this one hit particularly in Canada, if you remember. Mm-hmm. So what 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 do you foresee? You say that uh, do you believe that the the earthquake today was just a prelude and and if Correct. this is a prelude at uh, over eight point something on the Richter scale, what is the major <laughs> one going to be like? I am sorry, you know, uh, Rob, but you know this is this is part of my expertise uh, for me to translate to the cosmic code. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, what I can tell you is that, first of all, I'm not a psychic. You can't lump me with Mrs. Cleo, okay? Mm-hmm. I have a software. My work is documented, is scientifically repetitive, so there is very strong values about it. I just know that, and you know, too, that nature has a pattern. Um, history repeats itself, sure and does. so are the news. And I happen to have the exact timing. And... Um, this earthquake today did not kill anybody. And in, I mean, to reach 8.6, this is absolutely, completely out of the norms. Mm-hmm. And this is why USGS and even NASA, and I have a copy of that on my website, said they have absolutely no idea where or how or what that earthquake came from. Okay, So in my case, knowing the timing is an opportunity for people to be forewarned. And this is why I put it on Twitter. I got thousands of followers Mm -hmm. putting my SOS window, be ready for the date of April 14, 15, and 16, because what happened today is just a prelude. Now, 
I keep my fingers crossed, Rob, and I really sincerely and hopefully mm -hmm. want to be wrong. But how many times have I been wrong so far? Not very often. Dr. Turi, please stand by. Exonation. Nation, Dr. Louis Turi is my special guest. And Dr. Turi will be at the Body, Soul, and Spirit Expo. May 25th to 27th at the International Centre in Mississauga, Ontario. For more information, visit Dr. Turi's site at www.drturi.com. My name is Rob McConnell. This is The Exxon. We'll be back after this two-minute break. Don't go away. Take a step back in time and discover old Florida cuisine at Marsh Landing Restaurant in Felsmere. Enjoy delicacies such as frog legs, gator tail, catfish, and swamp cabbage, or enjoy the more traditional cuisine like hand-cut Angus steaks, ribs, and seafood. Join us for breakfast with a southern flair featuring sweet potato pancakes, biscuits and gravy, and much more. Planning a party? Marsh Landing's private dining room can accommodate groups from 8 to 80 people. While you're visiting, enjoy the historic pictures, artifacts, and stories that line the walls. Marsh Landing is truly a unique experience. Marsh Landing Restaurant, 44 North Broadway in historic Felsmere, or visit marshlandingrestaurant.com. Marsh Landing, old Florida cuisine at its best. Are you interested in the paranormal, ghosts, UFOs, or psychic phenomenon? Join me, Tim Bartley, co-host of Talking to Spirits with Lightworkers Tim and Justina, coming mid-January 2017 to the XZBN. We will channel spirits live and talk to them, revealing all kinds of amazing information. Spiritual attachments will be found and removed on the show, and so much more. To find out when you can listen to Talking to Spirits with Lightworkers Tim and Justina, visit www.xzbn.net for listeners on both sides of the veil. Exonation, uh, Dr. Louis Turi is my uh, special guest of this hour. His website is www.drturi. Uh, That's www.drturi.com. Uh, doctor, tell us a little bit about how you, how you evolved into the Dr. Turi that we all know today. You know, when, when did you first start... Uh, investigating the world of prophecies? Oh, that's a long, long story. When I was only six or seven years old, I had quite of an inference from my grandmother mm -hmm. who always told me to watch the moon. And as you know, farmers of the old days, and even currently still use the moon fluctuation sure. to plant their crops. Mm -hmm. So that was a good kick, put it this way. Uh, and then as I grew up... Uh, 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 I kept watching that moon and the people, the way they behave, the way they talk, the way they became lunatic, moody, and crabby, which led me to create my book, Moon Power, which is uh, my bestseller. Um, and then came the incredible, and again, incredible experiences, with incredible people that have incredible wisdom to share. And we are now referring to a series of um, UFO experiences that led me to um, literally digest every single thing. I could put my hand on related to metaphysics, Nostradamus, astrology, and so forth. And um, I recall very well um, in, uh, when I first arrived in this country in 1984 in America, I only had 50 bucks in my pocket. I was destitute, no friend, no social security, no green cards. I was an illegal alien, literally. And then looking back, I knew that I had to reach this country on a very specific time that works in harmony with the moon fluctuations. And I did that. And since then, everything I've touched turned gold and I even made the American dream in establishing emotional, financial, and spiritual stability. So it's a combination of supreme wisdom and extraordinary UFO experiences that led me and Bill Dr. Cherry. Why is it that there are only some people that have UFO experiences? And we're talking talking about the very the very uh, lowest denominator of experiencers uh, and yet the vast 
number of the rest of the public, they don't see UFOs. What it, what makes some people so susceptible and others, you know, they just don't see it? Well, what's possible, a magnet will not attract a piece of wood. You have to believe in order to attract. Mm-hmm. Secondly, you got to have a, a certain UCI, which stand for unique celestial identity, you got to have energies in your chart that bring you this type of experiences. I was born in February mm-hmm. under, the, uh, um, <clears throat> under the constellation of Aquarius, which regulate uh, the impossible, the incredible, astrology, new age, UFO, the future of humanity, technology. So I have a very strong Uranian energy in my chart. So uh, this is why it uh, has been dealing with extraterrestrials since I can't remember, since I'm six years old. And the experience I had with the extra, extraterrestrials are not just uh, like a light or walking. They're talking about dealing face to face with extraterrestrial, mm-hmm. seeing a flying saucer 30 feet above my head and going inside. That's the difference. And there's a lot of people that are skeptical because it's such a private, uh, such an exceptional experience. And then some become jealous, and I don't really know. But in many ways, you've got to have the faith or the belief. Then you would attract. You know, your story sounds very much like that of Réal, who is the leader of the International Aurelium Party. He, too, is from France. He, too, had a, an ET uh, experience. He, too, went inside a an, uh, UFO. What is it about the people in France or from France that make them so different from the rest of the world? Well, first of all, you have to understand that uh, extraterrestrial have left me with a legacy, which is unarguable in terms of downloading the cosmic code, mm-hmm. explaining it, teaching it, and making unarguable predictions. There's a lot of people that are supposed to be connected to extraterrestrial, and I don't know this person, even though he's a French man like me, I don't know if he has ever made any predictions that are printed, dated, and arguable like mm-hmm. me. Um, if, if I could see that, then I would have more faith in following this person. And until then, anybody can say anything about well, sure. UFOs. You've got to have the tools and the facts in hand. Tell, tell me, Doctor, what proof do you have or what proof can you provide to people when you tell them about a UFO experience? Um, it is not of the UFO experience because that's personal. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, is, uh, it, it is more of the legacy uh, of doing predictive work which is very obvious when I signed certified mail <clears throat> to police chiefs or certified mail to a USGS giving exact date for earthquakes. I mean, um, that, that's the difference. Now, as far as UFOs are concerned, um, my own uh, translation of my abductions were a uh, videotape. They were televised. And what I came up with cannot be made up. And I have those uh, those tapes, of course. That will come public when I die, I guess. <laughs> now, now tell me, what is what's different between what you do as as an astropsychologist compared to that of a psychic? Uh, first of all, I I ba- my work is based upon the software that I develop, the same mm-hmm. type of software that uh, NASA uses to send a shuttle in the stratosphere. But uh, NASA and astrophysicists sees the planet as dead rock, hanging out there for the sake of beauty. They will tell you their distance, their composition, uh, their position, and so forth. But they have lost the spiritual values, making up the core, the heart of those stars, which is how God speaks to his children. And that's why, again, God created the stars and the heavens to be used as signs. But that's the difference between me being uh, an astropsychologist and dealing with the stars in the NASA or science at large. All right, so so in your opinion, Doctor, what is the God-ET connection? That is something, if I understand your question correctly, um, this is something you can't control. Again, you have to have faith. You have to believe in, in something in order to attract it because a magnet will not attract a piece of wood. Mm-hmm. And mostly because the future of being the reincarnation of the thought, you bring to you what you have been previously thinking and keep thinking until it becomes a reality. So that is the superconscious in time and space interacting, which is responsible for not only your own fate, but the fate of humanity at large, something that science has not yet conceived, of course. So, so you're, you're talking about reincarnation, and, you know, we talk about people who have been reincarnated, but does the Earth ever get reincarnated, or once it's here, it's gone, bang? 
Well, you know, there is, life is a constant process of changes. You witness that every single day. Mm -hmm. People in high position all of a sudden disappear. People die. And so is the earth. There is nothing is meant to last. It has to come to an end. But again, at the same time, there is no end. It's just uh, um, a, a rebirth, a, a, a restructure, which is taking place on both at the physical and spiritual level. And when it comes to uh, Mother Earth, the chances are she will have to one day become like the moon uh, or Mars, a dead place which has done uh, its mission in time and space. How do we know reincarnation is real and it's just not a figment of our imagination or the figment of imaginations of of those who believe well just look at the worm in the water <laughs> rob uh, a worm in the water is in its own element mm -hmm. and it, it transforms into a butterfly and move from the watery element to the air element so you do whoa, have whoa, the whoa, whoa, hold on here hold on here how do you get a worm to develop into a butterfly this is this is transformation this is this is what happened uh, all the time um but a, but a worm, any, a, a, are, are, do you mean a caterpillar? Because a worm yeah, certainly yeah, yeah. doesn't. Yeah, well, yeah. This, I, I call it a worm for the oh. lack of word being okay. French. Uh, what I'm trying to say is it, it, you, have a, you have a caterpillar in the mm -hmm. water, and it transforms into a butterfly, which is uh, from the water element becoming into the air element. But that is, can only be conceived through our five human senses. But there is more transformation taking place at the, at the physical level that cannot be yet investigated because we are not that far uh, in, into metaphysics just yet. Uh, okay. are, uh, all right, so if, if people can be reincarnated going, f you know, like if you've, left, if you've led a life here on Earth you're, uh, and you pass on, you're reincarnated, let's say, 100, 200 years later, why mm -hmm. can't, is it, is it possible that a person, because of the aspect of quantum physics now, can actually um, pass today and go back in time 200 years and then be reincarnated? Well, you answer your question. Actually, there is. There are no time in space. There mm -hmm. is no time in space. It's all omnipresent. Uh, it's all based upon the lesson you have indulged yourself before right. you reincarnate on this dense physical world. You choose to be a messenger of the God. There goes Rob on the radio. Or you choose to become an, astro an astrophysicist or a doctor. It's all based upon a specific mission that was assigned karmically to you where you have to learn a few things along the way. And when you are on the radio world like yourself, you are forced to hear so many different things from so many different people. Mm -hmm. So you have quite a lot of catch up to do. And you are in, 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 in terms of messengers of the God and also a recipient of information that allows you to, to think and to grow much faster than anybody else. Okay, I, I, I've got that. So if, if we're reincarnated, and, and throughout our different reincarnations, if I understand it right, we, we are amassing or, you know, uh, we're collecting all this data. Why can't all the people on this planet who, according to uh, people who believe in reincarnation, have been here before, why can't they get along and make this a perfect world to live in, using <laughs> all the knowledge they have? Good question. Uh, in terms of reincarnation, again, there is no school that produces Einstein, mm. Mozart, or Beethoven. These people reincarnated because they have had a lot of work in previous past lives. In terms of, uh, of peace, a universal uh, money, um, each human being is extraordinarily unique. This is why I have created uh, my software, which depicted the UCI, or the Unique Celestial Identity. Um, you are related to your family genetically only. You can even look like your mom, your dad, or mm -hmm. your kids. But in the realm of the spirit, you are the biggest strangers to any of your family member. You will never think, create, behave, or have the same faith on your child, your mother, your sister, or your dad. And that's what science has not yet conceived, because they see everything through their physical, five limited human sense on a DNA basis. They do not know what the word UCI stands for. And in the process, they are, they are missing a tremendous amount of information. Well, here's a word that I understand. And it's a word from my producer that says commercial and news break now. Dr. Louis Touris, my special guest, will be back on the other side of the news and uh, some words from our sponsors as we continue here in the X-Zone. For more information on Dr. Turi, www.drturi.com. Don't go away. We'll be back after the news. This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, 
at WPBN TV. For more information on the X Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the X-Zone radio show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, X-1, Dimension X, Space Patrol, and every minute of the X-Zone broadcast network by calling 213-401-0080, courtesy of Audio Now. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 213-401-0080 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember 213-401-0080 for the best of the paranormal, parapsychology, and sci-fi radio programming anywhere, 24-7-365. Exxon Nation, uh, Dr. Louis Turi is my very special guest this hour, and uh, you're, you're going to have the opportunity of meeting Dr. Turi at the Body, Mind, and Spirit, or Body, Soul, and Spirit Expo that's being held at the International Center, 6900 Airport Road in Mississauga, on May the 25th until the 27th. So if you'd like more information about that, uh, you can visit our website at www.exxonradiotv.com. Click on the link, and away you go. But for more information on Dr. Tory, if you'd like to take some of Dr. Tory's classes, if you'd like to buy any of the wonderful books that he has on his site, www.drturi.com. Before we went to the commercial break, uh, Dr. Tory, we were talking about reincarnation. I've always been fascinated by the possibility of reincarnation because so far i'm not sure whether i believe it or not you know i i'm you know me i'm very uh i I need to see evidence i need to see proof and and you mentioned uh, mozart and beethoven now for mozart or beethoven to have been reincarnated to be the the great musicians that they were wouldn't they have had to have experience years before in the musical aspect in order for them to be those great officiatos that they are? Or they were? Exactly. I mean, when you look at Mozart or Beethoven, Mm -hmm. at the age of 10 years old, they were already musical geniuses. And in in no way, in in, in 10 years of a very short human life, you you can't produce such a complicated, sort of majestuous type of classical work. And he goes the same with uh, with people uh, like Einstein, mm-hmm. like people that have uh, a very specific knowledge that made his story. Uh, you could see, for example, also that the stars are at work that give that opportunity to bring that bank. Let's talk about Nostradamus, Edgar Cayce, Madame Varaski. Those three prophets and healers are well known for their work into the superconscious in time and space. And the three of them were born with the head of the drive in the side of Pisces that rules the archetypal realm of consciousness and the superconscious in time and space. But if you don't have cosmic consciousness, if you do not understand how you stand under the stars, you will never understand what it means to be human. So it's a matter of education. Mm-hmm. The more you educate yourself in, in metaphysics, the more this marvelous world makes sense to you. All right, let me ask you this hypothetical Uh, or give you this hypothetical scenario. As we know now, the human mind, we only use 10% of it. Is it possible that people like Mozart, Einstein, and the others that you've mentioned had the ability to expand that 10% to maybe 15, 20%, and that they're able to use this ability with the increased usage of their their brain or turning it from, let's say, a PC to a supercomputer to actually teach themselves all the necessary... Um, algorithms in order to become the geniuses that they were and that it has nothing to do whatsoever with reincarnation. Again, I'm coming from the archetypal realm of consciousness when you're coming from logic. Let me give you my, uh, my answers. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, currently, you do have some scientists that take the brain out of Einstein, out, out of the fridge, and they look down to the microscope to find out why Einstein was a genius. Mm-hmm. Well, let me tell you something, Rob. Your brain, my brain, the one of Einstein or a killer is exactly the same. 
It's got the same wiring, the same weight, the same function. What's different is the UCI. At a very precise time, you reincarnate on this dense physical world. You inherit a fraction of the universe that makes you very different. No, no man is born equal, regardless of what religion presumes. It's a matter of educating yourself in astral psychology to gather the golden keys, what it means to be human. Each human being has a UCI at birth. That means a unique celestial identity that turbocharges a specific area mm -hmm. of the brain, because your brain is nothing else than a computer reacting to an outside computer called the universal mind. And science has not yet understood this process. It took me 62 years of my life or my independent mm -hmm. scientific research on the mind to come up with this fact that is not yet, as I said, and repeat, understood by our infantile science. L l let me ask you this. Uh, is, is, are all life forms on this planet, past, present, and future, part of a reincarnation um, scenario? Does everybody become reincarnated? Absolutely. Now, if you... I believe myself uh, on my own reincarnation because uh, I had this recurring dream that I was mm -hmm. screaming every single night when I was a child. I was laying down on a table in, in a cave. Around me, all my family and friends was there all dressed with pink and white robes. And uh, behind me, I look, I see the eagles, I see the snow on top of the peak of the mountain. I can hear the wind and all of a sudden three Chinese soldiers came and they took their big knives and they killed me. And I scream, and I wake up every single night saying to my mom the same dream over and over and over again. Then later on in life, as I educated myself, I found out that the Chinese invaded Tibet and killed all the monks or killed all the Lama leaders. Mm -hmm. And that is my last life. It's the result of all the work I did myself in the spirit and astrology and metaphysics, including the superior civilization, that brought me such an awareness uh, into the superconscious. All right, so, so let me understand this dream. Uh, you, you were in a cave, you were a child, you were screaming. Uh, no, I was an adult, excuse me. That's, oh. The dream takes place every night when I was a child. Okay, all right, but in the dream you were an adult? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I was an adult. Oh, okay. I was uh, maybe 30, 40 years old. And um, I was being killed. I was laying down on the table and I was smiling to, the, to all my family because I knew there was no death. I was killed. And for me, when you're a child, there is no filter. There is no much that separated you from your previous past life mm -hmm. because you just arrived in the world. And then the, the most impregnating, dramatic uh, pictures, it's like a movie, will be, will be repeated in, in, in your brain, especially when you die. It's such a dramatic, drastic death. And, and, and that's totally dictate to me who I was in my past life, because I have a very clear recollection memory mm -hmm. of it. Oh, all right, so it, with reincarnation, do we only progress forward in time? Good, you cannot go backwards. There is no future in the past. Oh, okay, so let, I, me, let me ask you this. If we can't go back, no. where does our caveman get reincarnated from? You are the result of the caveman. But but you're, we're saying that everyone on this planet has been reincarnated. You also said that people do not go back in time. So since the cavemen were the beginning of of the evolution of man, where were they before they were cavemen? Uh, well, they were in a different form. In a different form, they could have been a mineral form, they could have been an animal form. There is an unlimited conception of reality. Are, are you saying that... Minerals have a consciousness. It, it, no, no. So, so but how I'm does that? How, wait a sec. Hold on here. Wait a sec. Hold on here. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, how does a mineral become a human if it doesn't have a consciousness? No, it, it, but you are made of mineral. You are made of mineral. You like it or not. You are mm -hmm. made of mineral. You're made of salt. You're made of electricity. You are the essence of all the stars. You are the result of the combination and expression of all the stars in time and space. And how it progressed to give you uh, the past, the future, and the present is mm -hmm. what I don't have the words to explain to you, or maybe I don't have the capacity to present it to you or you to understand it. Why not? But that, we are in the process of explaining what we can understand through five logical senses. 
And that's what the problem is. But but if we all have the ability, if we all have the ability to be to have the uh, UCI, yes, and, and and we open up, why can't we explain this? Why can't we get specific answers to specific questions? Okay, well now let's let's bring yourself and myself under the ocean. We are two fishes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are living in a world, and we have absolutely no idea that there is two people discussing on a radio mm -hmm. uh, the, the 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 matter of being a human being. You're in a different sphere, you're in a different world, you're in a different vibration, and there is no limit on but, the vibration. And on the scale, we are somewhere on the scale of eternity and mm -hmm. conscious, conscious of some, only of a certain amount of our reality. But if these two fish are in the ocean on mm -hmm. this planet, then we're all part no, no, no. of the same universal, same universal grid. <laughs> The only difference is this, though. you cannot compare two fish and two humans. This is what I'm trying to say. Uh, God designed fishes to live into their uh, watery element, to comprehend and to accept their reality at their level. All right, we so, are on a different level as human beings, on a different level. So do, these, so, do these two fish, us. so do these two fish come back reincarnated as people? No, they are going to be eaten by all fish and come back into part of another bigger fish and another bigger fish that is going to be eaten by a human and being part of that fish under the ocean. And that human is going to be eaten, God knows what. You know, we try, and, as I said, I'm coming from the mm -hmm. archetypal realm of consciousness when you're coming from logic. And that is good because you could see the gap, the, the, the impossibility of, of trying to bridge that gap for the time being because you and I mm -hmm. both lack understanding of the scheme of universal things for the time being. But what happens if the world of universal schemes is nothing more than the, the dreams and the aspirations of the human psyche, which is fiction, and logic is reality? Well, you create your reality. That's the base of all my teaching. A very good question. That's why I always teach my students the future is nothing else than a reincarnation of your thoughts. You create your reality at every second moment in your life, providing you understand the importance of being curious and open the door to that marvelous voyage. So how do we know reincarnation is real, Doctor? Let's get back to the let's get to the crunch of the question here. How do we know that all this new age talk is nothing else but fiction? And that the reality well, of the matter is that we're born, we live, we die, that's it. <laughs> the reality is that all the work of the fiction was once upon a time imagination, and now it is muted into our physical reality. Why is it muted? Because it, trans it, it translates, it, uh, it upgrades, it changes. It's like every single thing. We are not, as I said, we are the essence of those stars. But if we we're the, the essence, essence of, but, if, but if we're the essence of all that we've learned, and mm -hmm. we're all connected, and basically we are part of the great, uh, let's call it um, consciousness networking of all that is and all that was, why don't we mm -hmm. use this this vast amount of knowledge to create a better world? But we're doing it. You are doing it right now. You're passing on information that are not reachable through another means. Um, the, as I said, this energy is constantly at work mm -hmm. and it's upgrading every second. But with all the trouble that is in the world today, for example, what's going on in Syria, the, uh, mm -hmm. the, the tensions uh, throughout the rest of the world, whether it be because of political unrest, whether it be because of economic uh, unrest, and then we've got the people throughout the world who are dying because they're hungry. Now, if we all have the capability of taking mm -hmm. what we have learned Networking all, all this in, all this information, all this data through the the universal conscious network. Why is it then we have all these problems? Why are we asking so many questions if we already know the answers? Well, the question is: you have to become conscious of uh, uh, and acknowledge the cosmic code jurisdictions. It's like anything that's happening in the Middle East was predicted back in 1995 when I, when I mentioned the religious war and an implosion of the Middle East in 1995 on national mm -hmm. radio. I'm not going to say any names, but it's there, it's there. You can hear it. You can hear me saying these things. All right, but what, it, what, it, what happens, sir? And I've, I've got to bring this uh, segment to a you very bet, fast bet. close. What happens if you have the ability to read between the lines 
and mm-hmm. add one and one together, and this is how you make your predictions, and it has nothing to do with universal consciousness. Well, it's it's all pretty, it's all set sitting in the stars. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's put it this way: the Bible says. Again, I got to refer to what okay. people can relate to. Uh, the Bible says, "I'll talk to you, you won't hear me. I'll present myself to you, you won't see me." One has to raise his cosmic consciousness to understand the signs, and this is what I do. I see the age of Pisces going to an end. Pisces rules the Middle East: oil, deception, religion, confinement, drug, the control of information. This age is going out of the window being replaced by the age of Aquarius, which is a different type of thinking, reasoning, technology, astrology. And and this energy Mm -hmm. is now uh, speeding uh, an understanding of our relationship with the divine. All right, Doctor, please stand by. My friend, you and I have to take our final break. Always great talking to you, Dr. Turi. You bet, as always. My good friend, Dr. Louis Turi, as my guest, and uh, Dr. Turi will be with me in Toronto between May the 25th and 27th. He'll be able to meet and greet with us, and he's also giving some great lectures. More about that when we come back from this commercial break. Don't go away. Hi, I'm Larry Lawson, host of Paranormal Stakeout. With over 36 years in law enforcement, I have learned a few things. The most important is the proper gathering and preservation of evidence is vital to putting the bad guy behind bars. It's no different in the world of paranormal investigation, whether it's the search for the afterlife, cryptozoology, UFOs, and extraterrestrials. How we gather the evidence, preserve that evidence, and present it to a jury of our peers will make the ultimate difference in proving the existence of worlds and entities that are beyond our imagination. Join me, Larry Lawson, every week on Paranormal Stakeout when, along with my guests, we'll take a journey to prove with indisputable evidence what man has struggled to believe for centuries. Go to xzbn.net for the broadcast schedule and check me out at paranormalstakeout.com. True healing must address four levels, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual, for us to live joyful and productive lives. We tend to treat three of the four, leaving the spiritual languishing. If you're tired of the same dysfunctional patterns cropping up in your life, Soul Balancing is for you. Trixie Phelps, owner and founder of Soul Balancing, is a naturally gifted energy healer trained in numerous esoteric forms, including shamanism. Trixie has created a powerful modality that safely and effectively clears your energetic field. A Soul Balancing session can remove interference, heal trauma, and restore your hope. Contact Trixie for a life-changing long-distance session today, www.soulbalancing.world. You're listening to the X-Zone Broadcast Network, www.xzbn.net. And welcome back, everyone. Dr. Louis Terry is my guest this hour. His website is www.drturi.com. And as I've been saying, Dr. Turi is going to be with me at the Body, Soul, and Spirit Expo being held in Toronto, Ontario from May the 25th until the 27th. And that is located at, uh, let me see, 6900 Airport Road in Mississauga, right across from Pearson International Airport. If you'd like more information or if you'd like to see if there's any exhibitor spots open, if you'd like to buy tickets, find out who's going to be there, how you can be part of this wonderful event, go to www.bodysoulspiritexpo.com. That's www.bodysoulspiritexpo.com. Uh First of all, uh, Louis, it's always great having you with us on the show. Thank you very much for sparing uh, some time and sharing your time with us here on the Exxon. What what other predictions do you have for the Exxon Nation for, let's say, the next couple of months, days, okay. years, whatever? <laughs> but first of all, um, on my website, I clearly mentioned that um, 2012 uh, would be a year of wind. And I mentioned very clearly also that a tornado will be, you know, mm-hmm. uh, coming nonstop, um, you know, and all those that are involved in the weather service will be wondering what the hell is going on. So um, hopefully the next, uh, the date that I give you, April 14, 15, and 16, will be something tolerable like a tornado 
instead of a nasty mm-hmm. bad earthquake or, or a volcano eruption right. that could kill thousands of people. Some, so sort, of, some sort of natural disaster. Yeah, well, this is a sudden release of energy that's coming up on those four days, and the beginning of this energy started today by producing wow. a terrible, uh, out of ordinary uh, earthquake. And that tells you again, as I said earlier, the things to come on the, the three days are coming up. So yeah. just watch CNN and see the power of, of the Cosmic Code translation. Now, I, I have to mention something which is very important. As you said earlier, why people cannot fix, fix this well. Uh, people can only relate to each other's because of their education, their experiences, their intelligence, mm-hmm. and most of all, their UCI, which is their stars. Once people get that universal understanding of whom they are, then they will be able to, present it, to perceive themselves and others outside of religion, outside of hatreds, and with intelligence. But the world, again, needs to grow up to that level, and that's what I'm here for. And we're so happy you are, Dr. Tori. Let our listeners know what your website is one more time, please. My website is um, www.drturi.com. By the way, I have a good news to announce you. I was on, on the, the t- I was taped on the Discovery Channel, right? And I have given them the full proof uh, of my prediction. Wow! Uh, uh, when they came and taped me, so you're going to see that on the fall on national TV. All right, Dr. Tory, thank you very much for joining us. Take care of yourself. My regards to your family, and I look forward to uh, spending uh, three good days with you in Toronto this coming May. I can't wait to see you and shake your hand, my Take friend. Care, Take it easy, Bye bye. Exonation of my good friend, Dr. Louis Turi, www.drturi.com. And Dr. Turi is going to be at the uh, Body, Soul, and Spirit Expo in Toronto, May 25th to 27th, 6900 Airport Road in Mississauga, Ontario. And if you'd like more information, visit their great website at, uh, let me see, www.bodysoulspirit.com. Expo.com. I'll be back on the other side of this commercial break with the news as we continue here in the Exxon with yours truly, Rob McConnell.